Well, believe it or not, you wouldn't imagine this in a state like Wisconsin, but our literacy levels are actually incredibly low, and we have uh, some agencies that are here to help, and along with that, some volunteer tutors. Here to tell us more about Wisconsin literacy, we have Michelle Erickson, the Executive Director. Good morning to you, Good Michelle. Morning. Now, the figures to me were just alarming, Michelle, that on the two lowest levels of literacy, Wisconsin comes in at, what, 39% of the people fall below that. Right. And right. What, are, what are some of the things that people aren't able to do? Um, at the very lowest level, filling out a form, for instance, for a Social Security form mm -hmm. is, is a great challenge. Um, at the basic level, people can get by sometimes, but there's many things like understanding cost differences or an error on a credit card bill oh. um, is, is really a challenge. Uh, medication labels, understanding the right dosage. Reading a bus schedule, that exactly. kind of thing. Wow. And so in order to combat this, you have a number of different agencies across the entire state, right? We do. We have seven different literacy agencies that work um, primarily one-on-one -on -one with mm -hmm. volunteer tutors working with adult learners but we also have family literacy programs as well that are working with um, the parents and the children at the same time so pretty much in every county um, there are literacy programs Wow, so that's wonderful that everyone across our state is actually able to get some help with all of this. Now, we have a big celebration coming up on Tuesday, and that is to celebrate some uh, super achievers in all of this. Tell us about some of the award winners. What kind of categories do you have? Sure, we have actually nine different categories. Some of the highlights we recognize the adult um, learner of the year, mm -hmm. um, the adult English language learner of the year, tutor of the year. Um, we have a literacy advocate who has been promoting literacy for um, most of her career and um, we have a recognition for a workplace program for literacy and health literacy which is recognizing how people understand health information. Wow, so many things you never even consider. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm so excited to be a part of this and I am going to be working with you on Tuesday to m meet some of these people and present these awards. Now we also have a famous author coming. We do. David Rhodes, who's just released a new book called Jewelweed, and I just finished it yesterday. It's fantastic. It's a great, great read. So we're looking forward to having him as well as the keynote. Well, all of this is occurring on Tuesday. We're looking forward to that. But more importantly, just more attention to the problems with literacy, even in our own state here in Wisconsin, especially with adult learners. And a big thank you to all the volunteers who volunteer to tutor, right? Absolutely. Um, that is the bread and butter of many of our programs, is the people from the community that are volunteers that come forward and work one-on-one -on -one with individuals, literally changing their lives through literacy. So. Well, I imagine you're always looking for more, and you even offer a full training program for them, too. We do. Each individual literacy council has different times um, of the year that they offer this training. Mm -hmm. You don't need to speak a foreign language. You don't need to be a former teacher. Um, you just need the ability to read and to have some patience, and and you have the, the um, opportunity to really change someone's life. Unbelievable. Well, thank you so much, Michelle, for sharing about Wisconsin literacy, and we'll look forward to the big event coming up Tuesday.